we're gonna show you after you're done your warm up how to properly squat. So how I like to cue people up is you're gonna find your hip bones first, how they naturally align, so finding in the back and how they're attached here. And wherever they're kind of lining up that kind of angle, you're lining up your hands. So for us, what we're gonna do is put our big toe kind of in line with our pointer finger. So your toes will kind of be pointed out. I know lots of people sometimes say that feet should be perfectly straight, not for this exercise. Otherwise, you're gonna have a pinching in your lower back eventually. She found that what she's gonna do is imagine ripping the ground apart or ripping a paper apart from her feet in between. What that's gonna do is engage here a lot and shift the knees slightly out. So already this is getting a good workout. You might notice guys, hopefully these pants are good for seeing it, but when I relax, see how you can't see the inner seam of my pants anymore? When I try and tear the floor apart or the imaginary piece of paper beneath my feet apart, look at that. You can see the inner seam of my pant leg now. These quads are all fired up. Exactly. And many of our clients often say, I can work just this, but I can't get inside. Mm -hmm. So you're already working this. By doing that, Sarah's booty is turned on. Oh yeah. Her lower core is turned on. Now if we just need to make sure before she enters the squat that her ribs are not flared up in the air, that she's engaging her core. She can use it by powering up her diaphragm, by taking a big breath. <sighs> Exhale. However your ribs are sitting, they're probably stacked now on top of your hips. And now what you're gonna do to get into your squat is you're just hinging at the hip, sending the booty back. So you're leading with the booty. The booty's the boss, as Sarah says, and she's opening up through the knees there. And right now you can't see from this angle, but she has perfect angle right here, uh, all the way back up. For the wrong way, let's show them, yes. So yeah, stand you how you're gonna stand, you? yes. So let's do a couple of wrong ways that typically you see. Oh, wrong ways, okay. So let's do where the knees are coming forwards instead of outwards. Okay. So typically, yes. So now all quad dominant, very minimal booty, not that much hamstring. Heels tend to kind of creep up off the ground. Exactly, so yeah. what we're gonna do is again, standing back up. As she's squatting, watch her knees, they're going outwards and then her butt is going backwards. So the correct squat. Yeah, correct squat. Okay, so I'm tearing that piece of paper apart, taking my nice inhale and exhale, and leading with the butt, knees driving out. And if you can see Sarah's back right here, perfectly aligned, and up, it's neutral. Versus show people like, um, can you round? Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> chest is too high, everything. And then the other option is she goes too low, you might see her bum round under her. So that part is way too far. You don't have to squat right to the ground if you're not mobility in, or if you're not mobile enough. Just come back up, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> We're just gonna go into a proper squat right now. So there, and then pause. And then if you have a mirror near you, you can glance to the side. She's not staring at herself the whole time. She's looking straight ahead. She has a nice neutral spine all the way up from the neck, all the way down to her tailbone. And again, the whole motion, if I put this pole on her, nice and tight. Good, and all the way back up. Excellent. So that's your basic squat. Cool.